Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today we are going to go over how to make your LG G6 a bit easier to use or just more convenient. Um, and really this is just by doing some simple changes that will make your experience a lot better. So the first one I immediately had to do was always, if you go into the app drawer, hit the three icons, and then do view apps by name. This will make sure that all of your apps, except for folders, are prioritized. After that, they're all in alphabetical order. So it's easier to find all of your apps, especially when you have uh, lots and lots and lots of apps. So it's a lot easier to find and uh, to have everything simplified. Second thing is going to be under settings. Oops. You're going to want to hit these three dots right here and change it to list view. This is a lot easier view just because it goes all the way down, all the way up. Instead of having to go by and just like to find anything, you have to just go by and then tab view is so a dated uh, way of viewing things. So list view is just a lot better, a lot cleaner, and definitely just more appreciated. They still divide everything into the same thing, system, personal, device and Wi-Fi settings, but you'll just find it a lot easier. The third thing is personalizing this area. So I find it weird how LG had it set up. How I like to set mine up is basically have everything laid out to the way you want it. So if you hit edit, kind of put the most important ones at the beginning. So flashlight I have all the way at the top left then Wi-Fi, then sound and Bluetooth. Those are my four main ones. Those are the ones that I always want that when I pull it down, I can immediately use, along with location and screen rotation. Now, uh, NFC is one that I typically don't turn off, but I figure most of you do, so I leave it there. Uh, battery saver, of course, airplane mode. These are things that you use more often. So you wanna hit edit and configure it the way you want it. I don't know why color inversion was at the top. I feel like that's something almost no one uses. Uh, do not disturb might be something you use. I do not use it, but if it's something you use. So these are different things and you can lay it out exactly how you want. And then you can even edit it further to choose what you want here. So I don't need file sharing at the top. I like screen sharing at the top, volume and brightness. So those are what I leave at the top and that allows me to have my brightness right here and my volume up and down just to be easily able to uh, switch it at a, at a moment's notice. And I can even hit the settings button to see all of the different uh, types of volume. So I like that as well. So yeah, guys, very simple, uh, easy tricks. Uh, the other thing you want to learn uh, how to do is to quickly go into display and then also change your setting for the buttons home uh touch buttons button combination so this is a great way to kind of customize it i'm kind of playing around with where i want this i do want the notification part somewhere so i'm kind of moving it around but you can really customize exactly how you want everything laid out i don't use q slide so i wouldn't use that one but I like my back button all the way to the left and this is easier to tap now that it's a little bit pushed back as opposed to when I had three. It's just a little bit uh, easier to get to now, so I like that. And you can pull down your notification uh, with just a simple tap, so I do like that ability. And finally, you can even change the color, so you can change it to black or white. I will actually like it black because it gives that um, seamless a part of the screen. And then finally, uh, I would set your text to bold. I feel that it's just easier uh, when you have um, all of these different things. It's just a much stronger contrast to have it that way. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give it a like, thumbs up down below. I will have plenty of other coverage on this phone now that we have it. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.